This is the yes, shop. Sir. Oh, this is pretty cool. Some ranches. Well, the thing is that they sell weed. Up, Solomon. That is, that is a beautiful motor. Holy you shit. like that shit? You yeah. understand? <laughs> so all the mechanics, when they work here, they're selling weed also with the BBMC app. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. Right, double dip. Uh, yeah, just spoke to Pidgey. Let's go on the roof. Um, Let's go on the roof. Okay. Uh, again? You're whispering, oh. bro. Yeah, no shit. We're having a meeting. Yeah, talk normally so we can at least hear you. What's up? So talk to us. Um, what happened? Uh, what? Me and Pidgey? I think that was just him wanting to get it clear up and get a better understanding of you know what we just learned from Coyote. Plus, I filled him in on the conversation that I had with Coyote yesterday, and I read out for him word for word the text I found on Coyote's phone from the chaplain of the ADMC, Ziggy. Wait. So Wait, who's Ziggy's the snitch? Up? Uh, the snitch, 100% Ziggy. He's literally text the guy who, saying... Ziggy Bugs? Yeah, Ziggy Bugs, who's the chaplain of ADMC and, and is married to Flop 2. I mean, are you shocked? There used to be a cop. Yeah, but I mean, it's... Yeah, there's lots of ex... TJ was next cop. He wouldn't fucking snitch. Winston Walker's next cop. He wouldn't fucking snitch. You know what I mean? Isn't Flop an ex-cop too? Or he is a cop? No, no, no. no. He's, he's currently a cop. Yeah. Currently a cop. Anyway, so Ziggy's... And they're fine with this. Yeah. Wait, 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 how do you, so uh, I'm a little late to the party here. So how do you know that Ziggy was the one that was the snitch? He, he's one of them. I know this because I went through Coyote's phone. Let me, let me read out these texts. Hang on. Okay, so first text um, is Ziggy texts Coyote saying, is this Coyote? Coyote replies, si, senor. Ziggy responds, sounds good. Just making sure I'm around for a little longer if you needed to chat. Bear in mind, Coyote, remember, said just now he was hounding them. And yet here we have Ziggy reaching out to Coyote. <laughs> okay. Next text is um, Coyote saying, wrapping up meeting now. We'll call in five minutes if you're still available. Then there's six days where there's no communication. Ziggy reopens communication with any progress. Coyote replies, yes or no, are you free to talk? This and is around Ziggy the same replies, time all that shit was going down. Yeah, so well, this, this is all six days ago, last week. Okay. So Ziggy goes, rather sick, unfortunately, spending my days on a boat. Been going over stuff in my head, just hoping things can get sorted. Anything I can help with remotely? To which Coyote replies, hard to say, I'd rather communicate in person. We'll catch up some other time. And then that's the last text. You've got oh, the chaplain in the shit. ADMC reaching out to the only guy investigating anything relating to you or me, offering to help, asking for updates, asking if he can help remotely. On top of that, I had a meeting with Kota yesterday where he basically tried to interrogate me, and most of the meeting was him asking me questions about ADMC. But before he brought up ADMC, he told me he knew I was in the club. Well, the only way anyone, any cop would ever say they know something like that is one of two things it's one well, or i've been arrested enough times with them that i've got a tag on my profile that's never happened so the only way he could say that with certainty is if someone inside the club said by the way he was a member and they would do that because if they can prove that i get impeached now at the end of all that again bearing in mind that but how, so earlier, how do you know there's more than one snitch and here's why but earlier on right he said he was hounding members of admc correct he was hounding all of them okay with me he kept telling me he was talking to so many different members at the end of the conversation with him i go by the way no first of all i say how did you find ziggy as a person by the way okay and he immediately shuts down the, the conversation oh that's it we're done there's no no, mm. no 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 need to talk anymore at the end of that i go by the way say hi to sean for me and he goes who's sean that motherfucker, you've just told me you've been talking to fucking multiple ADMC members trying to figure out what's going on. And now you're telling me you don't know who the VP is? So I tell this to Steve at the manor, right? Because Steve and Sean go way back, like seven years back. Steve phones Sean and says, you need to get a lid on your boys fucking snitching and cooperating with the PD. Sean doesn't deny it. Instead, he flicks it around and goes, oh, well, I mean, Solomon was dating a cop. It's like, you, 
motherfucker, if uh... someone phones you, Rami, and says you've got to keep a lid on your boy snitching to the police, are you going to get angry and defensive or are you going to try and change the conversation? You're going like, to deflect it back it? to them. Yeah, right? yeah. So, in my eye, we've got proof in text Ziggy reached out offering to help. That's. If you hit a one percent MC, you don't do that shit. So, so what about what about finger. Barry? Does Barry know about this? Barry ain't barely been say. around us, but no, I don't think he does know. Uh, do you think he even gives a fuck? I mean, one of the tenants of the club is you don't work with the fucking PD. I want to roast the fuck out of. I don't AMC understand how they say they don't work with the PD. Meanwhile, everybody that was in the gang at one point was a council member. I don't understand you that. A cop? You mean a cop? Or a council member? Like, you, two of you guys were council members. I don't understand how the fuck. What, you think I work with cops, even in the council? Come on now. 100%. Like, you guys worked work hand in hand with them. No, no, but I don't fucking I, You know what I, I mean, I, though. You I, know what I, I mean, though, bro. facilitate like, their shit. Hold on, Pigeon's calling me. He's probably gonna give me some bullshit. Let me see. Yo. Yo, I just finished my talk. Are you good, yeah? Yeah, I'm talking to Solomon right now, actually. You wanna come? Yeah, where you at? Uh, uh, I'll ping you. What's your number? Uh, 11. Okay. Ooh, big boy number. Bad. Oh my god. Come to climb the ladder. Alright, Pigeon's got on the way. Oh, oh, nice. Hey guys, I'm in an active uh, 1080. Anyway, so yeah, in my mind, there's there's two. And the only reason I'm in my mind I'm confident on two is everything I've just said. I don't think Barry would know. And I think if Barry found out, he'd probably shoot them himself. <laughs> hmm, maybe Barry should find out. Yeah, he'd never fucking find the guy. Oh my god. Dude, around the corner. So Ziggy is the fucking rat. This fucking rata. Pigeon, you're yeah. You low key should have tried to stay on business. I did. No. Okay, yeah, you did. Low key, he did. But like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, bro, I got I got Shang and Sean pressing me the moment I get to TJ. Shang and Sean. And this guy's blaming me. I was like, bro, your own fucking gang members involved. Why the fuck you pressing me? What happened with you and them, Solomon? What do you mean? Like you were there. The like what was like the dialogue behind that though? I mean, Barry blamed me for TJ being killed, so he shot me in the head. Mm -hmm. How was that your fault though? Word. Well, I mean, you know, he told them I, was, I did it. Fucking moron, <laughs> pigeon. Pigeon, you're too much of a fucking pussy because you were getting pressed and you knew you were Speak all, up, you were all locked up. How was that being a pussy, you fucking you're dumb a, fuck? You're, you're a pussy because we were all locked up and you were scared for your life, so right away you threw fucking Solomon under the bus. I said, I just said how it fucking is. I'm not having some dumb fucks press me over some dumb shit. I thought ADMC were involved, to be honest with you. Because you're. Uh, you was stand on business, <laughs> Pigeon. Listen, you're the fucking pussy. I taught okay, not you me. better than that. Bitch. First of all, I, I don't want this is a big. First of all, I was a big deal when I told you guys this about three fucking weeks ago. But. I'm only Rami, trolling, you said yeah. the same thing. You're like, oh yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, how, how are they mad at us when it was Solomon that did it? Yeah. You literally said that. Uh, why is it want to make it as a big thing now? I don't understand. Solomon really didn't do it though. Solomon well, was under the notion that TJ would not be there. <laughs> you also told me I was going to get shot. Wait, what? Do you remember I said when you said what you're going to do? I said, can you at least promise me you won't shoot me? And Kay turned to me and said, I cannot promise that. So you better duck quick. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I mean... I, I, the minute I heard gunshots, I was like, I'm about to get shot. I'm just yeah, throwing, the I'm throwing myself T on the floor T and praying. TJ, TJ shouldn't have been there, one, two. Then the meeting started late because of the whole sheriff announcement. The meeting and started late and, 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 and he was early. At the end of the day, that's on me. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe I could have done more to try and make sure he wasn't there. And that's something I've got to, that's, I've got to live with that. But I'm not you, try and does anybody not. know about the treasurer thing? Like... It, they're bound by yeah oath. no yeah yeah every yeah every, everyone knows that like so tj would have told them that we're fucking coming if i told him yes if i told him anything he is he is he has to he you has know that, there's, there's no there's no control over that say that again that is that is a the state ordained is feature of being treasurer of this by the state that if solomon would if solomon would have told tj that we were coming he would have had to told some he would have had to tell them what? Yeah. yeah. The, and the, so the treasurer position is a mandatory. Report, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right? I know about that. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. That but and now, the head of bar. The head of bar that. is as well. I did not know that. Yeah, that and the head of bar. I was gonna, I was gonna run for head of bar when I was a lawyer. Wait, and then they, they, they told me, yeah. And then I found that out. And then I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. I'm yeah, out. Yeah. 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 yeah.
the other everything else you can but the out of the head of bar and the and the treasure you can't you can't fuck around you actually have to be like clean clean all right all right well, too that's easy good. all right well i guess we just go from here we gotta i mean ziggy's not around these times so like, i guess that's you guys uh yeah i'll deal with that earlier in the day although if i'm honest with you i think i might play with my food a bit first and again pigeon i know i said it earlier please yeah, God, play don't, with your food. Get, don't give this shit away i'd say the same shit you gotta play with your meat sometimes before you eat it yeah. <laughs> what the fuck what? Wait, you that's eat the same. your own meat no i'm saying it's like play with How your flexible food flexible are you play with no that's not okay meeting adjourned guys no pun intended on that um, one. Put your uh, door uh, next to the, the, the wall so you can jump up to the highway. The but uh, yeah, I'm centered. Like I'm like centered right in the middle of the red garage. Meeting adjourned, guys. I was like, how does he do that? Like, who's this? I'll see you guys. I'm over here. What's going on? All right, boys. Right there. Not everything. Can I believe you get a double wide for one old cheese? Can I believe you get a number two with a long drink? I got money, so I don't care how much it costs me. So you throw this on, make sure.